This video is brought to you by Laresar. I recently moved to a new home, and one of the areas I want to explore more is smart home tech. More specifically, smart home tech that makes your life easier. And I don't know about you, but if there's one thing that I look forward to least every week, it's vacuuming. So when Laresar reached out with the new L6 Pro, I knew I had to check it out. Robot vacuums have been around for a while, but only recently have they really gotten good. And in my opinion, the L6 Pro represents an excellent all-in-one solution uh, that is not only smart, reliable, but is something you can actually count on. So let's start off with the unboxing. Now inside the box, we get a quick start guide and warranty information. We also get a mop cloth support with a reusable cloth. Uh, yes, the L6 Pro can vacuum as well as mop. And then of course we have the L6 Pro itself. And right off the bat, I like this uh, matte finish on the top. And it also comes ready to use with the brush uh, and filter already installed. And then underneath that, we also get the dust collection charging base, which is essentially the home for the vacuum. And this already has a three and a half liter dust bag inside. Now this capacity should last you around 60 days of ordinary cleaning. We also get some extra. So we get an extra brush, HEPA filter, disposable mop cloths, as well as dust bags. I like that Laracer not only includes everything you need to get started, uh, but also includes extra parts so you're set to use your vacuum for a long time. All right, let's take a closer look at the design. Now, right off the bat, I really like the uh, minimal branding and this nice matte finish going all the way around. Uh, we also get this midnight blue sort of ring going around the vacuum. Uh, and overall, I think it's a really clean and good looking appliance. You can see on the top here, we have the LiDAR sensor, and this is what is used to visually map out your home. As the L6 Pro uses lasers rather than the traditional gyroscope, which results in more accurate positioning, uh, better sweeping coverage, and also stronger obstacle avoidance. And then on the front, we also have a home as well as the power button. Uh, and then looking around the L6 Pro, we have a myriad of infrared sensors. Again, this is all meant to help it position itself uh, in your environment. And then on the back, we have the two-in-one dust and water compartment. Now, this can simply be removed, so we can just go ahead and slide it out. Two-in-one dust compartment. And then, as you can hear, uh, it will know that it has been removed. This is a very smart machine. Uh, and then, as I slide it back in, it will also let me know uh, that it has been installed. Two-in-one dust compartment with water tank has been installed. Not bad. And then on the bottom, we have the main brush, uh, which is easy to remove. And we also get the side brush, and this is meant to help get the corners of the room and allow it to vacuum right up against the edge of the wall. And then we also have a myriad of more sensors. So we have a cliff sensor, drop sensors, and this is all to make sure it will safely navigate your home and not roll down the stairs. We also get some pretty beefy wheels. Now, as you can see, these do move, and this allows the vacuum to get pretty good clearance if you have, say, cables on the floor, uh, or really thick carpets. So setting up the L6 Pro is easy. Simply place the docking station in your home. Uh, it is important to note that you do have a little bit of clearance on either side and that you do not move this as this is where the uh, L6 Pro will start and finish every clean. Then simply scan the QR code to download the app, register your device and add it. The app can also integrate into Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. And then you have to map your home for the first time. Now I've done this a few times actually, and my suggestion here, uh, based on my experience, is to first clear the floor of any non-permanent uh, furniture. So think things like chairs, excessive cables, or socks on the floor, uh, to make sure that the vacuum can get into every corner of your home uh, to map it accurately. Then in the app, simply press start and it will go on its way. Now it's really cool to look at the map and see this fill as it goes around your home, uh, giving you a really detailed floor plan. It can also store up to five maps. This means if you have multiple floors in your home, you can designate one map to each floor. And then once the map is complete, you can designate rooms. And this gives you the option to clean a specific room or avoid a specific room, as well as adding virtual boundaries. Another cool feature I found myself using quite often is pin and go, where it will only select and clean a specific area. Say you have a spillage of some rice in the kitchen, simply send it over right to the kitchen and it will clean only that area. 
area. And in the app, we also get a battery indicator. Now the battery on the L6 Pro should last around 250 minutes of cleaning uh, or be able to cover an area of around 2000 square feet. Now this is more than enough uh, for my London apartment. In fact, for my home, I found it to use only around 28 to 30% battery. The app also lets you change the suction power. Now for most of my uses, I've kept it on standard as I find this strikes the right balance between being quiet, uh, but then still being strong enough to get everything off the floor. However, it is good to have those higher suction modes in case you have pets, for example. And then something I set up right away is a schedule. So I currently have my uh, L6 Pro set to vacuum my home once a week, every Saturday morning. And then you can also dial in uh, specifics such as the suction power or whether you want it to just vacuum or also mop. In the app, you can also see the health of your filters as well as the brushes so you know when to replace them. Overall, I like the app. I would say it really lets you use all the smart features of the L6 Pro in an easy and intuitive way. And all this is really great, but how does it actually perform? Well, honestly, I was really impressed with the L6 Pro. Not only did it perform better than I thought, it was also definitely quieter than I expected. To give you an example, I was once on a Zoom call uh, and the L6 Pro was literally cleaning by my feet and the other person on the call could barely hear it. It is also smart. It really hugs the wall, so it gets right up to the edge of your floors and also raises itself automatically to clear carpets or cables that you may have on the floor. And something I really love uh, is it has automatic surface detection. And what this will mean is it will automatically detect the difference between say hardwood floors uh, and a carpet and then adjust the suction power accordingly. This is something you can actually hear it do. Have a listen. Now, in my bedrooms, I have relatively low profile, uh, but thick woolen carpets, and the L6 Pro handles them with ease. The way it uh, structures a clean is it will first get the outer perimeters of a room and then fill in the rest. The L6 Pro also effectively avoids unexpected obstacles, like for example, chairs that move all the time and will be in slightly different places, but still gets right up as close to them as possible to still get as much of a clean as possible. I live with just my partner and for us, the L6 Pro has been absolutely perfect, cleaning up everything from the usual uh, dust, hairs, or even bigger spillages like say oats or rice or crumbs in the kitchen. I've never had to use these stronger suction modes, but at max suction, uh, the L6 Pro can achieve 3500 TA. I do have a dog, but unfortunately he lives with my dad uh, on the other side of the world, though I wish I could see how he would react to the L6 Pro, as in my experience, dogs either hate or love robot vacuums, but either way, they'll have to get used to it. If you do have pets, I would use the higher suction power and maybe vacuum twice a week, something you can easily set up in the app. In the app, I've just added a virtual boundary uh, by the studio room, which is the room that we're in right now. And this means that the L6 Pro during its next clean will avoid this room uh, and hopefully not start now as I am filming. Okay, so I've just started a cleanup. And as you can see, I've added a barrier to the uh, studio room which is this room over here. So the door is open, but it should not go into the room. Let's see what it does. And there we go. As you can see, it completely avoids the room and does not even try to enter. And to give you a live example uh, of how well the L6 Pro vacuums, I've created this spill in the kitchen. So what I'll do is I'll drop a pin in the app and to see it just clean this area. So when I made this mess in the kitchen, uh, I may have gotten a little bit carried away as this is of course far more uh, than you would realistically have, but I was still really surprised by just how well the L6 Pro performed, getting around 95% of the mess, uh, and this is still while being in the standard suction mode. Really impressive. Now, at first, I was a little bit worried about how the L6 Pro would handle my dining room chairs, as they have these long, uh, flat-laying legs, but to my surprise, it actually did just fine. Even here, the L6 Pro always finds its way around and out, without needing me to save it. To clean my whole apartment uh, takes around 35 minutes, which I would say is just about as long as it would take me, and in fact, is even more thorough. 
Now let's talk about the built-in mop. This is something that I use around once or twice per month. Uh, and while I thought my floors were clean, I was shocked to see just how dirty they were uh, after the first time the L6 Pro mopped them. To use the mop, simply add water to the two-in-one dust and water tank, and it will then mop your entire home. What's cool is in the app, you can also activate the Y mop feature. And this simulates manual mopping by moving in a Y-shaped pattern. Not only is this satisfying to watch, it is also even more effective. While in the app, it is possible to choose how much water you want it to use during a mop, I do wish I could set it to use even more water to get that extra thorough mop. When mopping, you can choose to use the included reusable mop or the disposable ones. Personally, I like the reusable one. Uh, simply wash it with some dish soap and water to clean. When the L6 Pro finishes its clean, it will automatically go back home to the dock. And here, I like how it takes the fastest route back, going through the middle of a room and not bouncing off wall to wall. Again, showing just how intelligent this robot vacuum is. Once it is back at the dock, it will automatically empty, and in the app, you can choose how often you want it to do this. Now, this part is a little bit loud, but only takes seconds. And the dock itself also has its own dust bag, and it will automatically tell you when it is full. Something I really appreciate about the uh, design of these dust bags is that they have this little lid which allows you to automatically close it when taking it out so that none of the dust gets out. The dock also has a neat display on the front to show you the status. So after using the L6 Pro from Laracer, honestly, I cannot believe I didn't get one sooner. It saves me valuable time over the weekend and is reliable and smart enough to a point where I can comfortably leave it on whilst I leave the home. It also vacuums thoroughly, not just getting the worst of the mess, but really getting basically everything. In the past months, I haven't felt the need to do any more. When it comes to smart home vacuums, I think this is really one of those areas where you get what you pay for. And at $539 or £489 with free two year warranty, the Laracer L6 Pro is more than worth it. Plus, you also get a $100 or £100 off voucher and an additional $30 or £30 off coupon just for you guys. This is subject to change, so be sure to check the links in the description for the latest information. Let me know if you have any questions. A big thank you to Laracer for supporting the channel and sponsoring this video. If you haven't seen them yet, I highly recommend watching my HomePod mini review as well as my M1 Pro MacBook Pro long-term review. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.